Hey there, Pokemon fans, readers here with another deck review video. In this video, I'm going to review the Giratina and Villaplume uh, standard uh, deck. So, I found this um, deck list online, and the only thing that I could not do is I could not find the second Samin. So, uh, it was supposed to be two Samins and uh, two Hydreigons instead of three Hydreigons. So, I put an extra Hydreigon instead of a Samin. But uh, I guess that it's not so... It, it is different, but you know, what else could I do? So let's review this deck, and I'm going to play this and hit the tournaments with this deck uh, in this week. And I really hope that this is going to be awesome, because it is the first, actually, sort of the first deck that I uh, have from the standard uh, category that I review. So this is an X and Y and ON deck. There is nothing uh, from X and Y and before. So let's see, we have, uh, we should have two Samins, we don't. And the Samin is an awesome card, a very expensive card, a very amazing card. It has the set, set up ability, which is the reason why we have this card in the, uh, the deck. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. This is an amazing way to set up your hand. And it has an awesome ability which says Sky's return, Sky return 30 damage, return this Pokemon and all cards attached to it to your hand. Which means that you can sort of spam the ability of Samin. And if you, that's why you need two Samins to do a, a, an awesome circle. Uh, you just return the active Samin, you put the benched Samin in the active spot and you repeat the process and you remove the damage counters and all that great stuff and if you have a muscle band and a double colorless energy that's so easy it is amazing but I don't have a second saving unfortunately and that's that ruins the whole combo combo but what can, what else can I say anyways then we have two, uh, three Garatina or Giratina maybe Giratina EX with with 178 speed a dragon type with weakness in uh, uh, furry types, that's okay-ish. I, I don't see so many uh, furry types uh, in the standard format. I, I don't know why. We have the Renegade Pulse. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Mega Evolution Pokemon. So, this is a Mega Wall. Amazing. Uh, it can deal with Mega Rayquaza and all that awesome Megas out there. Uh, and with 4 energy, Chaos Will, 100 damage, your opponent can't play any Pokemon tool, special energy, or stadium cards from his or her hand during his or her next turn. That's very nice, especially for the special energy, I'm so that's so impressive. He or she cannot play special energy and that's very, very annoying. And 100 damage, that's a lot, that's good. And then. We have three Oddies evolving to Gloom, evolving to Villa Plume. And I have so many, I have seven plus four Villa Plumes. Villa Plume has the awesome ability of each player can't play any item cards from his or her hand. That's very nice. It, it sets off half of your opponent's decks. Uh, Battle Compressors, VS Seekers, uh, uh, Level Ball, uh, Ultra Ball. What else? Sweets, maybe. So many cards. It sets off so many cards. Of course, it sets off your own item cards as well, and that's quite sad. But you uh, set up your game first, and then uh, you put put Villaplume into play, or at least you have awesome supporters in this deck, so you don't need the um, items so much. You do, but not so much. Actually, you need the items to bring the Villaplume out. So. You don't need them from uh, this point and on. We have two mill tanks because it is a very nice pair with the Villa Plume. Mill tank is very powerful when you have a third stage Pokemon out there, and you can, as you will see later on in this review, you can put Villa Plume uh, into play in the very first turn if you have the whole pieces of the combo. You, uh, so you can start hitting with mill tank for a. Uh, 80 damage for 80 damage in the very first turn if you play second we will see that we have two mil tanks for that reason a very very aggressive start it is possible 
it is easily possible, especially with uh, saming. <laughs> it's an awesome deck, by the way, but you have to just get the pieces. We have three unknowns, which help to get the pieces once during your turn before you attack. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard this Pokemon and all cards attached to it. This does not count as a knockout. If you do, draw a card. So it, it is a draw a card card. <laughs> Very nice. You just recycle that card. And then we have actually two Hydreigons. I put three because I don't have a Saming EX. Uh, so this Hydreigon has 188 speed Dragon type and has a Dragon Road ability. If there is any Stadium card in play, this the retreat cost of each of your Dragon type in play is two less. And with three energy, shred, 80 damage, this attack attacks damage isn't affected by any effects effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So that means that you're going to deal 80 damage no matter what, and uh, with a martial band that's 100 damage. That's quite cool. So, uh, not s uh, we have plenty of Pokemon, but let's go for the trainers. We have two level balls which are helpful, uh, which helps us to get actually uh, Odys and Gloom. Maybe our unknowns as well, but why should we get an unknown? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. So, uh, for the Glooms, actually, and Odish, we have an Ultra Ball, actually four Ultra Balls, which help us get uh, any Pokemon, basically. But it, it's... Uh, I, I guess that mm, we, we're gonna use it for Villaplume the most. Then we have two Trainers Mail. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a trainer card you find there, except from trainer's mail, and put it in your hand, shuffle the other cards back into your deck. You know what trainer's mail does. We just get uh, within our, our deck and we get a trainer. We have two VS Seeker to return uh, our used supporters from our discard pile to our hands. We have two Chernos to draw extra cards, four Professor Sycamores to draw a fresh hand of seven cards, Two Lysanders, or three Lysanders, for forcing our opponent to switch and knock out his uh, or hers. Biggest threat, we have two Sonas. Uh, I'm not sure about Sona, but I find I found out that I use Sona as a way to shuffle my hand to the to the deck when I overdraw cards and I'm in danger of uh, losing from a deck out. So that's another use of Sona, to shuffle your hand, your huge hand, into your deck when you don't need such a huge hand anymore and you, uh, you want to prevent losing from a overdraw. And of course, in an early game, you can just uh, set up your hand better, draw a fresh five cards, no matter what you had before. AZ, that's a quite interesting card. Put one of your Pokemon into your hand. Uh, you can return a Saming EX and use the ability of Saming EX again, or you can return a Villa Plume and uh, gain your ability to play items again, if you need to play items. And you basically can return anything, anything that you want. If you, if you are about to lose and you need to return a Pokemon that is heavily damaged, you can do that. But keep in mind that you are going to discard all cards attached to this Pokemon. So don't expect to get your energy back. Then we have four, uh, three, three Forest of Giant Plants, and that's the combo with Villa Plume. Each player's uh, grass type Pokemon can evolve during his or her first turn or the turn he or she plays uh, those Pokemon. So you can go for all this Gloom, Villa Plume in, fir in the very first turn and uh, lock your opponent from uh, items in the very first turn. And if you play second and, and you put Miltank in the active spot, you can go uh, Miltank, Odyssey, Forest of Giant Plants, Gloom, Villa Plume, Energy, Boom, uh, 80 damage, and wow, can you imagine a Muscle Band? And the saming to get your hand full again? Okay, with a Muscle Band, that's 100 damage, 100 damage in the very first turn. Even a Pokemon EX, mm, it's very hard for even a Pokemon EX to uh, just 
deal with such a huge threat in the very first turn but I guess that this is not gonna happen so often but it may happen it is a very awesome combo so we have uh, three muscle band to increase our damage output and then as for the energy we have four double colorless energy four dragon uh, double dragon energy for our awesome dragons and two grass type energies uh, for uh, I don't know uh, with with only two grass type energies energy we should not expect this villa bloom to uh, deal damage okay this villa bloom is not for knocking out your opponent this villa bloom is just for uh, the core <laughs> no it is just for uh, shutting down your opponent's items so that was it my friends I really hope that you enjoyed this deck review uh, keep in mind that if you want a better list of this one just replace a shaming EX with uh, a, a Hydreigon EX with a shaming EX that's it is very important we, because that's the reason why we have shaming EX we need we want to keep the circle going okay and have uh, six cards in our hands all the time and uh, yeah that's the only difference uh, check it out test it if you have the cards I know Saming is a very hard card to find Giratina is also a very hard card to find I traded eight packs for two of those so you may find a hard time to get that, those Villa Blooms as I can see it's not so hard to find I have seven plus four trade locked anyways so I really hope that you enjoyed this, if you did make sure to thumbs it up, subscribe if you are new, check out tomorrow's video which is going to be the playlist with this awesome deck and I really hope that you are going to enjoy that. Until next time, take good care of yourself, be safe and I will see you. Bye my friends, take care.